Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building the new LEGO Friends Heart Lake City Hospital. Now, Heart Lake City has already got a hospital. It was released a few years ago, and this one is new. They've got another one. So obviously there are so many people that injure themselves in Heart Lake City that they need yet another hospital. So this one's different. It's in a different color scheme, and we're, we're just going to see how they how they compare and see what's in this box. So we've got two sheets of stickers. The color scheme is already different to the initial one. We're using a whole heap of that vibrant coral and teal pieces. We've got four bags so it's gonna be not not a huge set. So let's have a look. We've got Emma in here. Emma has got some brand new shoes in pastel purple and she's got a brand new top too with a crane on it and it's got a strange colored undershirt. Uh, the, the printing has, well the line's gone around to the top, that printing on the top's kind of crossed over. It would be nice to have seen the little pink dots go around to the back too but I'm just excited that Lego is finally starting to print on the back of mini dolls. It is about time. But there's not a lot on the back of this one okay so we've got Emma she is just hanging out here at the moment we don't know what her role is in the hospital in fact to be honest that's up to you it's up to you when you play with it now three mini dolls in here here's mini doll number two it is Ethan he has no printing on the back of his shirt because this is a this is like a, a hoodie that we've already seen lots of times before this is Ethan exactly as we have seen him lots of times before one day he might get a new face print but at the moment he's got his little baby face with his brown eyes and he's slipped on a banana so oh it's a catastrophe this is already so oh, <laughs> emma's kicked him so now he's even more hurt right oh ethan we're gonna have to build you a doctor <laughs> lucky we had one handy in this bag she has got this doctor this is dr maria she's got <laughs> teal pants a little coral heart emblem on her shirt and let's check out the rest of her she's Oh, look, she's got little dots on either corner of her mouth, so it's like she's got little dimples. Oh, I don't think you could not not trust a doctor with dimples. Actually, dimples are very dangerous. <laughs> dimples are very cute, which makes them very dangerous. Okay, so Dr. Maria, more than just being cute, has done many, many years of medical training. So she is going to be able to treat Ethan with a bandage, which comes in here. We don't know what's wrong with him, but let's just shove the bandage on his head anyway because it comes included in the set and he did slip on a banana so i think maximum care is necessary we can't we can't take too many precautions he's got his hand bandage on now and he is well he, he's looked after for <laughs> the current time till we can build him a whole hospital so we can check him out completely but before we build him a hospital he gets something else something small so that he doesn't have to walk around on his own two legs though they appear to be the only things not bandaged <laughs> at the moment I find this hilarious that we put <laughs> we put these guys into a wheelchair. By the way, this is a very cool little design for a wheelchair. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with his legs. So, but that's what they do in hospitals. They don't let you walk out on your on your own, uh, just in case you might pass out. So. Well, I assume that's the idea. I assume that's the reason. I don't know for sure, but that, that's what I think it is. So he's got nothing we can actually push him with because the handles are on the front, which is strange, but we wouldn't be able to reach it anyway. Makes it look a little bit more like a wheelchair. Am I using the wheelchair incorrectly? I just don't know. Let's, let's stop concentrating on the wheelchair and concentrate on what we're building now, which is the new Heart Lake City Ambulance. And let's see how it all goes together and then check out its functionality. See how it all works and what, well, hopefully it's designed to actually carry a patient from the accident site to the hospital because that's that's the main point for an ambulance okay so it is it's got a large amount of teal as it's as it's accessorizing color of course lots of white and now we've got we're lining it with some tan smooth pieces got a spot here that emma's going to be the driver at the moment because she's got no other role we could pop the patient in the back there so they can just kind of slide down in on the floor <laughs> recess in the floor to safely store your passage during transit <laughs> okay I must concentrate okay all right so we've ah, the the hearts on this one are vibrant coral we're using it a lot in this set and we've got our windows which you can actually push open for a little bit of added air for the driver and to separate the driver from the passenger there's just a little archway so this is this is a small build but it's going to be functional it's gonna it's going to you know fit the proviso get the passenger to the hospital make sure there's space there for the passenger here's our sticker for the front so nobody's going to be able to mistake the fact that this is supposed to be going to the hospital though the fact that the headlights are pink and blue are just a little bit strange 
I might have to flick those pink ones off and put yellow headlights on. Unless they're supposed to be kind of like sireny lights. Can you have sireny lights? You know what I mean? Like emergency lights. So the pink's supposed to be red and the blue's. Ah, uh, no, they're, they're definitely supposed to be headlights. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's a bit odd. Let's see. We've got a stretcher now. And this is good because it means we don't have to shove Ethan directly into the back of the ambulance there. Now he can be on a stretcher. And that means he sits nice and comfortably. Oh, yeah, that's pretty snug. Nice and comfortably on top of the smooth areas. And you can actually use the, the little recess underneath him for storage. We might shove the banana in there later. Okay, but before we do that, he's going to need a, a door to open up. This is what this is to go on the back. We got some more lights, some pink lights going on here. And that's going to stop him from falling out the back when the ambulance starts, which is good, safety first. And of course, we're going to need a roof and it's going to be detachable. So it's nice and easy to access the people inside and nice, it makes it nice and easy to play. Okay, all right, roof's good. Pops on and off very nicely. Now I think we just need some wheels. And lucky, we've got everything we need. <laughs> Four wheels included in the set. It's amazing. It's as though the Lego has planned to put wheels on the ambulance. Which they have. Okay, four wheels. We have four wheels. We've got somebody in the back. We've got a perfectly functional <laughs> functional ambulance. And it's got a banana stored in the back too. Right, that banana's not hurting anybody else. And we're up to bag number two, which is the bag that Emma actually comes out of. And Emma gets, well, look at this. Emma gets some chocolates, which means Emma's obviously not not intended to be the ambulance driver though she can do whatever you want in this set she's got some chocolate she's going to be a visitor for ethan she's coming to visit him in hospital after his catastrophic banana accident my goodness that'll be one to tell your grandkids so she's got an enormous balloon uh, and she's got some chocolate perfect you can come and visit me in hospital anytime emma as long as you bring the chocolate Right, so let's get started on the hospital. And the very first thing, we've got a nice big pillar. We have to open up all of these, these medical equipment thingies. And first up, we get a clipboard with what I am assuming is Ethan's personal information on it and his medical information. Sideways now, so I can't really see. But yeah, I reckon that looks like Ethan, though that's not actually his hair. That's like a different style of mini doll hair. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're getting some blinds put on for a little bit of privacy. They have heart. Well, it's got a big crinkle in it. That's fine. They have little heart pull strings on them, which is just a bit too cute. And there's a pink mat here to hold the next <laughs> next part of the floor plan on. In the middle of it is a nice big sticky plaster with another heart on it. <laughs> oh, we're going to be totally hearted out by the time we finish doing this. Some more blinds. We've got lots and lots of these transparent stickers to put on. And I'm just trying to make sure that they do line up with each other and that they are straight. Because they're straight lines. If you don't put them on straight, they just look weird. Uh, okay. We have got a bed now. I love the bright, cheery yellow bedspread. Once again, covered in hearts. And by the bed, there is a little table with a vase with a flower in it just to cheer the cheer the patients up that's nice okay another one of these blind oh those venetian blinds are a bit wonky on there i i wonder if this is <laughs> because this is a much smaller hospital set than the previous hospital set i wonder whether this is like just the inner city hospital i don't know but or maybe it's a hospital in a lesser funded area where they did some budgetary cuts to health which is never a good idea and it's just a lot smaller it doesn't have as much stuff and the venetian blinds need some work too they need some new venetian blinds those ones are wonky <laughs> okay we've got another little mat over here with the sticking plaster with a heart in the middle of it <laughs> matches the one in ethan's room and now we have got a door to get into what i am yeah we got two doors to get into the reception area got a very small check-in area there just that little little computery thing very small and yeah this is going to get some more of the venetian blinds more of these wonky venetian blinds oh no quick this hospital needs some funding stat gotta have some new venetian blinds actually probably be more useful to actually you know, fund the equipment but still venetian blinds are important too 
<laughs> for the, just for the look of things. Uh, but that's a very clever way to build a chair. So we built the bottom and then built the back and then just popped it on behind it. That's cool. Emma is here waiting and she's brought the balloon. We've got a convenient hook out here which we can use for the balloon. I don't know if that is the purpose of it. I'm a bit worried for Ethan because he's on that bed and he's not looking very stable as I move this around. <laughs> he keeps falling off. <laughs> Lucky he's got those bandages on him. Might help him some extra padding. <laughs> That's terrible. He's in the right place to get a little bit more accidented anyway because, you know, he's in a hospital. Also, accidented is not a word. <laughs> that wasn't even a very good phrase. <laughs> it was a terrible phrase. Okay, I'm concentrating on the architecture here now. We're getting our, our roof line on for the next level. Nice big arch going over the center of the, of, of the reception area. And here, out here on the side, there is a... Okay, there's a little pink dot. And this... This telescopy looking looks like a telescope. Ah, so it's a magnifying no, sorry, not a magnifying glass. It is a microscope for our teeny tiny medical laboratory over there. Obviously, we are inspecting whatever the pink dot is. Got some more Venetians to put on though. Time doesn't stand still. We got lots of building to do. That is the smallest little research area ever. I'm gonna have to see whether I can actually fit a mini doll in there. <laughs> this is very small. This is a very small hospital. Okay. Hopefully we've got enough room to actually play in it. It's looking okay from the front. The colour scheme is very bright and very cheerful. And we're up to bag number three, which is the bag that Dr. Maria comes in. So let's put all her medical accoutrements on her, uh, including a nurse's hat, which she doesn't really need because she's a doctor. And apparently, but I'm putting it on because that's what it has in the instructions. And she has a spoon. <laughs> she's busy doling out, I don't know, some, some spoon stuff. <laughs> It <laughs> doesn't even make any sense. Why would she have a spoon? Why would she need to be giving Ethan something with a spoon? Mm. All right, I'm going to think on that while we build the second level here. <laughs> Got a nice a big yellow overhang for the door and more, so many more of these Venetian blinds. So thankfully these ones are straight, so it doesn't offend my sensibilities. Let's check these ones. Let's see what's on this one. Oh, once again, nice and straight. Very nice. Okay, so these ones are directly above the front doors of the hospital. These ones are a bit wonky though. They're a bit wonky. And these ones, uh, these ones are nice. Nobody's fiddled with these ones and made them, made them not so, not so straight. All right, so that's the last of our transparent blind pieces. What have we got up here in what is only a really little area? So this is a two-story hospital with the bottoms basically the most... Yeah, where, where most most things go on. We've got a little space up the top here, and I do not know what this is. This is a... <laughs> I was about to say it's a spanner. So this is an x-ray of a spanner. This is not. It is actually Ethan's hand. Looks like his bones are okay. So he's not going to need that bandage. And this is... Oh, that sits a bit low. You know what? I'm going to take this sticker off and just put it just a little bit higher up. So that actually, yeah, so it shows nice and clearly above our little display stand there. So that goes there next to our other weird thing that we've built that I don't know what the purpose is of yet. But we're about to find out because it looks like we have a slidey something. Oh, look at this. So this is the x-ray machine. This is how we'll just put, if we just put Ethan under this and just slide it across him, it will tell us what's wrong with him magically or not magically because science. It will tell him with science. Uh, okay, so he's going to need something to lie on, uh, which is which is this. It matches. It matches the one downstairs, except this little bedspread is pulled all the way up nice and neatly. Let's go and install this under the x-ray machine, and then we can check Ethan out, though we know... Oh, look at that. So the little studs at the top actually hold his neck in place just a little bit. Yeah, so you just have to stick him over the top of the pillow a bit and he holds just that little bit more securely. He's just going to hang out up here on this x-ray bed here <laughs> because it's a fun place to hang out. We've got a syringe on the hook outside, outside, and we're up to bag number four. <laughs> Do we have everything we need to treat Ethan yet? I don't know. Have we got room to fit anything else? On the, on the older set, there was actually a helicopter pad. Uh, up on the top or off to the top side bit. This is not looking like a helicopter pad. This is, I don't know what it is. Let's, we've got a massive big pink heart base plate and we are lining it with coral, with the vibrant coral. And we're 
But oh, we're making it into a sign. Okay, so the top is just for the sign, so that you can see from far, far away that this is where the Heart Lake City Hospital is. You don't really want to come here because the funding, you know, uh, health funding cuts. There's not a lot of equipment here in the hospital, but Dr. Marie is excellent. She does what she can with the stuff that she has. And there's a sticking plaster to stick to the side of the heart. That's really cute. I'm not sure where that's supposed to go. Let's go and install it and see whether... Oh no. Okay, so we'll put it on and then put the sticking plaster on the side. <laughs> that's really, really cute. Okay, we've got a little bit of space here on the side. For the smallest hospital garden you have ever seen. In fact, I don't think we are even going to be able to fit his wheelchair out here. So, yeah, okay. Okay, we've got a little drawer set here to store the rest of the medical equipment, or some of the rest of the medical equipment, including a pen, because you can never find a pen when you need it. And on the top, we've got an otoscope for checking in his eyes and his ears, and a bowl or a sink, a sinky kind of thing. For the discarded gauze and all that sort of stuff that's going to be installed up here next to the x-ray table which probably also doubles as an as an operation room as well it's whatever you want it to be it's multifunctional it's up to you okay nice few little finishing touches outside the front door of the hospital i was wondering where our flowers were there were only a couple up there in the garden but now we got a couple of pretty ones on the outside and that's it we're done it's not the biggest set there's not a whole load of play area in here and it's a lot smaller than the previous hospital. So you know what? I think the girls might have to be on a mission to write to their local member of parliament because obviously there have been some serious budget cuts to health for the hospital to now be this, well, <laughs> there's not a lot of equipment in it. It's a lot smaller than it was before. So I don't know that it's actually equipped to do much more than treat poor Ethan with his banana injuries. Okay. All right. That's the end of the build. Thank you for sticking with me through it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you back here for some more videos very, very soon. So make sure you check back in. <laughs> Bye.